Hey guys, it's your good old pal Phineas Finetti to Tone iPhone here, and today is Friday. It's April 27th. Believe it or not, guys, there's a new Face of episode from the 2007 show that premiered a while ago in this channel US. There, before Confidential and Delivery of Destiny. The Delivery of Destiny episode is the episode where where the where Love Hondo wearing that truck with that male guy. Which, yeah, if you've seen the episode already on Disney Channel, you'll probably know what I mean. Yeah, and it's Friday, we're getting the Mob Attractor and Cranium Maximus, the next two episodes of Beast on 4 and 3. And we're getting a, and a horror advertising and a, is still with the episodes for season 4 on Monday. But people say season 4 is good. And yes, guys, I did watch Better Time this afternoon and even at night today. Great show. Definitely one of the best projects for Cartoon Network. And I watched The Amazing World Gumball a while ago. And believe on guys, I'm watching Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King on Boeing. That's right, guys. I'm watching Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King on Boeing. Frenemies is playing on Disney Channel My Area. Believe on Frenemies came out today in my area. Believe on it. Guess what, guys? This weekend, I'm going to watch some Disney movies on Quattro for the 100th anniversary Universal weekend. I'm going to watch The Lion King, for example, on Quattro. I'm going to watch um, Pixar classics or Disney classics on Quattro. That'll be epic, watching some Disney movies on Quattro this weekend. Rewatching them for a good for a good purpose. As you can see, I'm watching Scooby-Doo and the Golden King right now, a little bit. Yeah, speaking of Feast, Feast on Forb, I heard that Season 4 is coming in next year, 2013. I hope season three, 4 is better than the third season. I think season 4 is going to be the final season of season 4. I'm guessing that the fourth season is going to be the final season of Feast 4 because Disney wants 4 seasons for each show for Disney Channel. For example, the last season 4s are part for Disney shows for the final seasons. Like Nickelodeon that Spama wants 4 seasons. I hope we get a ninth season in summer. A horror. And, the, and believe that par, the pirates in the Adventure of Scientists or Band of Misfits came to the US today and it got really great reviews. It, came, it, it won't be in my area until August 2012. It's an arm and film made by Sony Pictures Animation, one of the most underrated movie studios, Sony Pictures Animation. I haven't seen this, the, this the new smart film, but I heard it's not that good. I heard bad things about the smart the smart film. Let me go to my Android tablet. And yes, guys, I love my Android tablet. I got that tablet back in two thousand eleven with my Christmas month, with with for my eighteen for my on the, as an as a as a present. That's an accepted present for me. Yeah, I love my tablet. It's pretty cool. I don't get why the adult, adults don't like that much of the tablet. Because normally kids nowadays they go they like like tablets more than the the consoles that I grew up with. Like I grew up with Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance was part of my childhood. I used to love playing that console when I was a kid. I used to blow up playing the Game Boy Advance back in the day. Let me go to Toronto to me just for a little bit on my tablet because my laptop is busy. My, I don't want to use my laptop because I want to focus on my tablet. And yes, guys, I play Super Bia this week. Great game. It's a fun game. Super Bia. It's pretty cool in my it's pretty cool. It has really great scenarios from Disney sitcoms. To be honest, I kinda like going to the Disney Channel sitcom world more than the Nickelodeon sitcom ones because the Nickelodeon sitcoms have gone downhill since year a year ago, I think. I think a year ago or many years ago. We are, Connie, let me know your thoughts. When did that thing when down, go down. 
and yeah, and, uh, sorry about that. It was, it was my Blu-ray player. I got that back in 2000, 2010. I got that Blu-ray player back in 2010 because I want to get Blu-rays because Blu-rays are very popular. And yes, guys, I collect Blu-rays. The last Blu-ray I got is Puss in Boots, which that's a great, that was a great film. And do you remember seeing Puss in, Puss in Boots in theaters back in 2011 on opening weekend when I was 17 years old and I'm nearly going to be 18 in nearly next month. And Bleed Night in three days is the big day. SpongeBob's 13th anniversary. And Platypus Day as well. And yes, guys, I'll be watching Platypus Day on Disney Channel. Visa was definitely my favorite Disney television animation show. Gravity Falls might dethrone Visa for. I think Gravity Falls might dethrone because a lot of people say Gravity Falls looks great. It's the neat upcoming Disney show coming in June. It's the upcoming show for Disney Channel, Gravity Falls. I think it might be thrown Visa first, my new favorite Disney show. I love Better Time. Better Time is amazing, but Moss Beast. Musical Gumbo is a great show. I love the humor. The humor is great. My favorite character in Musical Gumbo is Gumbo and Darwin. My worst character in Gumbo is Tobias. Oh God! I despise Tobias with a burning passion. He is the worst character in the Gumball. The reason why? Because he wants to, to, he what? He's so rude to Gumball. Jeez, I cannot stand Tobias. That fucking, fucking asshole. Fuck that character in the ass. Oh, I saw Jack Black theatrical play Poe. Skadoosh. You know, from Cover Panda. If you've seen the movie, you put me know what I mean. Tomorrow I'm going to Grand Via Mall. That's right, I'm going to Grand Via Mall. And I'm going to Universal Center Paul Epic Savvy, the 100 years of the studio. Believe well, yeah, I saw it advertised on Universal Channel when I was watching the theatrical remaster Hanna Barbera cartoons and when I was watching Pikmin. Speaking of Pikmin, I watched the episode where Olimar and Linda Gunderson Gunderson went to the beach. That was a great episode. That was from the season 22. And I'm very sad for a Monday, the return of Pikmin on Disney Channel for two episodes for the classic era. That would be cool. Uh, Rolling Tomatoes, here it is. Sorry, guys. Let me put the click. Here's the new movies that came out this week. I can't believe the Pirates has come, came out recently in the U.S., if my area won't be out, and here's the adventures. It's now in my area in cinemas. As I'm filming this video. Oh, I forgot that film is coming out. In my area. In I forgot that film. Pirates Better Misfits. Because I was more interested in I64, Continental Drift, Memory Lane, and Madagascar 3. Speaking of, speaking of animation shows, I remember back when I was a kid, I remember my brain uh, did an imagination of a fan-made show made by Nickelodeon. The, the, the magnificent adventures of Dexter and the Powerpuff Girls. I remember doing a really catchy theme song of the Beethoven one with the theme song in the end credits and the episodes of like Dexter and Blossom. Blossom being, dwarf, being, being a couple and Dexter and making a pizzeria for Mojo Jojo and Van Dark. <laughs> oh man, those were the good old days back in 2002. My brain was with that showing everywhere. When I was at recess at school, when I was at the playground at school, when I was at theme parks, when I was running at home while thinking, while the news is playing, I think about Dexter and the Barb of Girls hugging. Like that story and Bubbles hugging and that story and Dee Dee and and Dee Dee and him be crying. Oh yeah, that was a good memory from my childhood because these shows were part of my childhood, especially the Pop Up Girls. I used to love that one when I was a kid. 
And yes, guys, I did watch Pikmin on the universe as well. But yeah, I keep I saw that for Universal Studios and the Polar Program and throughout that the establishment of Universal One Hundred will begin at four PM in Saturday, which I'm going to Universal Santa Pola to celebrate one hundredth anniversary at this fantastic movie studio that gave us Woody Woodpecker, Pikmin, the Hanna Barbera gang, like this ant right there. I got the DVD back in 2007, if you guys are wondering. I got that back in 2007 at a shop that I want to, that is, for, that is with the promotion. I also got this alongside the Flintstones and the Jetsons and Top Cat for a good price. I do have the Megillo Gorilla one by Universal, which I got that box set back in 2012 this year and Pitsy and Litsy as well. And Pitsy and Ditsy, these are great. Alongside Peter Potamus and Soso, Wally Gator. Well, yeah, I have, I used, I have a Wally Gator and Magilla Gorilla plush toy when I was little. I got it from Pora Ventura and Universal Mediterranea when I was at the park back in 2001. I got these two with a small price, small and with a cheap price. That was a good memory. My, I love the quote where on the Beach Pikmin episode from season 22 where Olimar said It's the bully who wants to aid me And Linda said I will get this 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 idiot <laughs> I love this line that line is so great God it is spice Antonio I never liked Antonio not even when I was a kid as a matter of fact, my mom hated Antonio for Pikmin. When me and my mom watched Pikmin together back in, the, back in 1998, 99, when I was in 2000, when I was very, very younger, me and my mom really have bad memories with that fucking bully who tortures that poor Olimar. Ah, uh, poor Olimar. Polymar is definitely my favorite character in Pikmin alongside Linda, Goop the Cat, Daniel, Alex. And the Pikmins, Dar Pikmin, too, and Derek, these are great characters. Antonio, he's a no no. And yes, guys, I'll be going to some Pikmin rides like at Universal Santa Pola. That'll be epic. Anyway, I want to get an end here, guys. Happy Friday, everybody. And goodbye, guys.